everybody. Today we are going surf fishing. It is currently 7 a.m. and we are leaving to catch that rising tide for surf perch. Okay, let's get into it. like a pretty good spot I guess we got a couple wave breaks maybe catch something so we'll try it out he's getting some sand crabs for us I already got some on the hook right here and let's begin we also got anchovy right here for a striped bass or something so we'll do that too Okay, right now we are determining which sand crabs are the best for bait. So natural selection. Yes, natural selection. So these are the soft ones. These and are going to die. Yeah, they're they're the best for bait. If we don't use them by the end of the day, we'll let them go. But all of these that are not keep them. Dude. We're, we're just gonna we're just gonna toss them back in the water. My dad got it. No, while we were getting crabs, my dad got a fish on. I don't know if it's big, but he hooked it. Let's see, let's see. Probably a perch. Let's see, let's see it. Oh, it's far out. Here it comes. What is that? Oh, it's a perch. Yeah, nice. That's bigger than last time. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see how big it is. Okay, here we got a perch. First cast, by the way. Okay, so he is a little over eight inches, like eight and a quarter. So we'll make him into food. Also, that's a horse on the beach. That is kind of unexpected. She has a chihuahua in her backpack too. That's like freaking insane. That's epic. Okay, time to fish some more. Okay, I'm gonna switch my bait over to a sandworm. Uh, uh, the plastic worm, the red worm, because my friend keeps getting bit and I'm not having any luck. So yeah, let's switch that over. Okay, as you see, his bait is like gone. It got ripped. So I'm gonna switch to that. And there we go, that's the worm, ready to go. So we're moving spots. We only got that one after all that time. But a dude, Levy, walked by us and he said he has a spot over there. There's a couple other people down there. And he caught 15 to 20 fish and only kept 10. So, well, of course, we're gonna head down there and see what's that about. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is the new spot. We were way down there, but now we're way down here. Let's test it out. Okay, guys, I caught a jack smelt somehow on the sand crabs. So, that is actually a decent size. I'll measure it in a second. But yeah, we'll eat that thing. Okay, this fish, let's get the tape measure. Ah, my, I, got, I, got. I got sand on my eyes. Oh, stupid fish. You're dead, man. Okay, it's 14 inches, so that's a big boy. This is a big smelt, so we're gonna eat him for storing sand in my eyes. Okay, so jack smelt, I didn't expect that, but you know, I'll, I'll take it because it's 14 inches long. That's a big one. Usually, you know, th that's like, on the bigger side of smelt. So I'm gonna keep fishing though. Cause I want my 14 inch perch because they taste better. That was a big fish on. So let's see. I'm just gonna record you. Big, might be a stretch. Might be a smelt. Oh, big. Well, like how big? Maybe I got some seaweed with it. Yeah, maybe. Your rod's not bending, it's not like biting or anything. on it too. Too small, we should move. Let me see. Yeah, it's like seven and a half inches. Small? That's pretty 
small, but we could make extra tacos with it. Will you clean it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we were reeling in the line because I think I got a hit. And I, I had this crab on, this tiny dungeness. So, I mean, we're gonna have to let him go, but he's a tiny crab. He just got the fish. Another fish, and this one's bigger, I'd say nine inches. And no one expected this because we were tangled up and you just, you just pulled in a fish randomly. Nice job, let's measure it. Okay, let's measure this sucker. We have, yep, nine inches, perfect. That's a keeper. Holy crap, that's a lot of birds. Look at that. Okay, we got four fish and I think we'll go home and make us some tacos now. Yeah, we're all packed up and ready to go. So, time to cook. Okay, we're back at home. I just filleted these surf perch and jack smelt. This is jack smelt, this is surf perch. And we're not gonna make tacos today. We're gonna make a tasty fish soup. We're gonna see how that turns out. So yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, we're ready to cook. We got our fish, mushrooms, potatoes, cabbage, green onion, ginger, garlic, and lemon. Now we're just gonna char this fish first. So we're just gonna toss this in the frying pan, which is already hot. And let's toss this fish in. So let's get this all kind of evened out. So we get a nice char on them. And you don't want to keep mixing. You want to leave it in one place for a while. Leave it in one place for a while. Like for a minute, then we'll flip it. And just spread these out. So you cook it like almost all the way. So let's just let that chop for a little bit. And prepare our ginger, which we'll throw on next. Okay, let's start flipping them. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna toss in my ginger. Water time. So yeah, now I'm gonna add our veggies. I'm gonna throw in our potatoes. onion and mushroom this is a garlic clove oh yeah it's going nice in a boil dust in this cabbage too Yeah, this looks nice. Just add a little salt in there. Hey, since it's boiling down a little bit, we're gonna add another cup or two of water, hot water. So right now it's pretty much done. We're just gonna like flavor it a bit more to our liking. So at this point we have all our ingredients in, but you know, you can just take salt and pepper and whatever the hell you want. Then taste it, add more or less of anything you want and then it should be good. Cause I'm pretty much like eyeballing this. I'm just throwing stuff in based on what I think will be good and change it along the way. So what I showed you was basically the basics of what I did. Cause I added more stuff I thought needed more. It's pretty much up to you. Okay, I, I tasted it and it's a little bit bland. I'm gonna add soy sauce cause I think it'll help the flavor a bit, but not too much because soy sauce is real freaking powerful. After all the modifications we made, add more soy sauce, salt, green onion, all that junk, with all the same ingredients you saw in this video, it's pretty good right now. So, we're gonna go eat. Oh man, that looks good. We got our three bowls, and we're gonna eat it with a side of rice. Okay, 